everybody, it's Jason here. Welcome to another episode of the Oak Mountain ACOTS. Well, this is our 100th video that we put on our YouTube channel, and we wanted to take a minute to thank all of our longtime subscribers for helping us get this far along. Uh, it takes a lot of work to make 100 videos, and uh, we're really proud to be this far along. So thank you very much. In today's video, we're going to do a review on this brand new Husqvarna multi-purpose forestry gas can. Stick around. Okay guys, so if you watched our previous videos, you know that uh, I've taken a lot of different vehicles back into the woods. I've taken uh, the International 414 with the log and wench on. And I've taken the Kubota B2601 with the Cranman hydraulic timber trailer back into the woods. And I've also gone back in with our Honda 700 Pioneer side-by-side. -side. And uh, I struggled with how to take one vehicle back into the woods with all of my forestry gear so that I could actually go to work, cut wood, load it onto the trailer here, the hydraulic timber trailer, and bring it back to the house. So this little gas jug is one more step in the solution to that problem because I intend to take the Kubota B2601 back into the woods, but as you can see, I've got a full bucket of accessories here. The point in getting uh, this gas can was so that I could cut down on the amount of equipment that I have in the bucket. So let's take a look at this gas can and we'll show you everything that it can do. So I'm just like a kid in a candy store here. Um, you have to wonder why I get so excited over a gas can, but this is a little beauty. Um, when I took it out of the box, the first thing that I noted was that it has these covers. Now these are for travel so that you don't spill anything. Uh, there's really nice rubber gaskets inside of those. They look like they're high quality. Um, and so that's accessory or piece number one. The next thing it comes with is a couple of these no spill nozzles. Now this one, Husqvarna does a great job. This is actually for your gas and your oil. I don't know if there's a difference in the plastic that they use that to withstand the gas or not. I'm hoping that there is, but that doesn't matter. The fact that they've put that on there so you know which side of the gas can to go on, that tells me that they're putting a lot of thought into their gas jugs. And you can see right here, this is for your mixed gas. So we throw that on here. It's got a five liter gas capacity on this side. And then this one here is for your, uh, your chain oil. And you can see here, you know that that's for chain oil with that diagram on it. And that goes on this side. So for me to put these into the bucket of the Kubota B2601 and head back into the woods, I'll probably never have to use these uh, covers here. So I'm just going to hang those up, have them for future if I need them. The other thing that they've sent is uh, a secondary nozzle. And this nozzle is not a no spill nozzle. It's wide open. Now I don't know the purpose of that, but I would say if I was using some uh, really thick chain oil or something like that and maybe it wouldn't come out through the no spill nozzle, maybe I would switch to that. But uh, that's a spare nozzle um, for future use as well. So I'm going to save all of these covers and nozzles for later. You never know when you might have another purpose for everything. We've got lots of room to put stuff up in here in the, in the new sugar shack, so that's where they'll stay. All right, so there, you know, you've got a gas jug and an oil jug all in one. What's that going to replace for me with my uh, bucket full of accessories here? Well, this is currently how I get my gas and my oil back and forth to the woods. I put it in a cardboard box because these oil jugs are messy and they always spill a little bit of oil and I like to keep things as neat and tidy as I can. Uh, and of course, here's my five liter gas jug that I have in there. So this whole box is going to disappear now and I'm going to be able to have just one gas can. All right, guys, so let's get this dumped over. This likely isn't going to make for exciting content, but I'm pretty excited. Now, uh, interestingly enough, one of our longtime viewers put a comment on a video quite a long time ago. He saw me gassing up my chainsaw in the woods, and I was spilling a little bit of gas on the ground. And he said, Jason, you've got to have one of these cans. But I looked at the cost of them, and I couldn't justify it at the time. But I put in an order for Christmas, and uh, good old dad came through for me. Thanks a lot. 
So gas here in New Brunswick now is still at uh, not an all-time high, but it's very high. And uh, we would pay about a dollar and fifty cents a liter now for our supreme gas, and that's what we need to burn in our small equipment. So uh, at a buck fifty a liter, you don't want to spill a drop. Okay, so that's the gas. And now we'll get some oil dumped in. And I'll probably top this up full eventually, but I'm just going to put in what I've got in this jug for now. There, just that easy. Okay, so we got rid of that whole box, and now we just got this nice little gas can sitting in its place. So that's one improvement. Let's see what else it'll do. Okay guys, so I'm taking a look at the bucket now, and I want to see what else I can uh, get rid of here with this multi-purpose forestry gas can. Um, in this container here, I keep my hookaroon, an axe, I've got uh, a choker for the hydraulic timber trailer, some odds and ends, and I've got my little tool kit. And then in this box, I keep my hard hat, my gloves, and I've got some wedges in there and some extra gloves as well. And I think that I can probably get rid of one box by using the other accessories on this gas can. Let's take a look. Okay, so I'm still learning about all the features of this can, and if you guys uh, have these cans and, uh, and you've got some different uses for them or I'm not picking out just the right thing here, I want you to leave me a comment down below and help me out. But uh, I see a spot for a flat file. That's interesting, it grips the file when you put it down in, so that's good, it's not gonna rattle loose very easily. And then uh, I also see a spot for a round file, that's good. And then I would imagine that this spot back here would be for the bar wrench, look at that. And then I, all I have here is some different files, um, so I don't need those right now, I'm gonna leave those here in the shop for future use. And then I've got my little guide here that I use to file down my riders, but I would never do that in the woods. So again, I'm going to put that right here. Look at that. There's one empty tool chest. We'll repurpose that. Okay, let's check this out. I don't want to spill any gas, but this is a test. It's supposed to be good for it. I don't see any gas leaking, and those tools aren't coming out. That's pretty good. Now, what do we have on this side? Okay, over here, um, this is a spot where I think you can put your wedges. Now, my wedges are cut up pretty bad. I don't know if they'll go down there or not. Yes, sir, they will. So there, we hook those down. That's a, this is a piece of rubber. Uh, it feels like it's pretty durable rubber, so not worried about that breaking or cracking in uh, minus 30 degrees Celsius temperatures. Now, I don't know what else we could do with it. If I could get a spare chain in here, that'd be something else. If I take those old wedges out, and I grab a spare chain for the chainsaw, it doesn't, let's see. Oh yes, it does fit. So there, I can put a spare chain in there. So I think what I'll do is I will leave my spare chain in there, and uh, I've got a pouch on the side of my cutting pants that I can put these in. So that's going to work out well. Okay, so I'm going to take these old wedges and throw them in my multi-purpose box. And now that I've got that tool kit out of there, I can put my hard hat right in that box. And I'll take my nice husky cutting gloves and I'll put that right in there. So that's all good. Now look how clean that bucket is. Now all we've got to do is get this gas jug in here. And that'll go there. But of course I don't want that to ride on that nozzle. So we'll just spin that nozzle around, tighten it up. We'll do the same with this one. And look at that, guys. That's quite an improvement. 
I knew that was going to be a good jug. Alright guys, so now I'm interested to see how these uh, no-spill nozzles work. So I'm going to get them turned back around in the use position, I'll call that, instead of the travel position. Tighten them down. And then look right in here. See how there's an unlock and a lock? So right now, that won't move, but as soon as I move it there, I can push down and that opens up the nozzle on the end. Okay, so this is the oil. So let's see if we can get some oil in here without spilling it all over. So it worked great, but one problem is I can't see when I get filled up with oil or not. So I keep pulling it out to check it. I'm getting pretty close. Okay, I'm going to stop there. So that old chain oil is uh, pretty viscous oil. So we're going to get a little bit around, but nothing like overflowing in the woods. Now let's try the gas and see how we do with the gas. Again on the gas nozzle, there's a lock and an unlock position, so we're now unlocked. Now you can hear that gurgling as you get fuller and fuller, and I know that uh, I knew by the sound that I was full, and there, I never spilled a drop. So that's pretty amazing. Normally I would lose a little bit every time, um, and especially when I put the cap on, I would overfill and flood it down over the sides of the saw. So they put some thought into that. Um, no leaks from here, put it back in the lock position, back in the lock position, all the tools, a spare chain, a full chainsaw, and no mess. I like it. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed this review video. It's a little shorter than what we normally run, but uh, I wanted to make sure that uh, we got this review completed. This is a brand new gas jug and it's gonna be going to the woods in the very near future and it's gonna look a lot dirtier than, uh, than it does right now. So this gas can gets a two thumbs up from the Oak Mountain ACOTS. It's gonna be a little beauty and uh, I can't wait to get back in the woods and get after some hardwood. So like we always say guys, if you like our videos and you want to see more of them, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, share our videos with your friends and family and help us grow our channel. And come on back and check on us often because you never know what the Oak Mountain ACOTs are going to be up to next. We'll see you in the next one guys.